Girl, you should wear a name tag. Ni vicious presenting. Girl, you should wear a name tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Let's go. Summer's gone. I'm latching on. Don't even know your name, but you're still in my head. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony, Tony Alaoye. And if it's your first time stopping by, you are most definitely welcome. I know you are thinking like, why does my hair look like this? But I'm going to end up starting my hair in this video while I share with you guys my own personal experience on how I became a Kenya citizen in such a short time. Honestly, like nobody ever talked about this on YouTube, which is like so weird if you ask me, but yeah so today i'm going to be styling my hair um my wig is not secure like it's really not secure i'm just leaving it here and when i'm done styling then i'm going to secure it my hair is from kilai hair um this whole coloring process did live on my channel probably went live about yesterday or two days ago and i did the whole water coloring process so if you like to see that make sure you click right here and the link is going to be right down below as well in my description bar so yeah without further ado let's get right into this Video. First things first, I am going to do the center part. Guys, if I keep looking this way, that's because my mirror is this way, okay? So now that I have done my center part, I am going to try to cut off all this excess hair so that it's just like a regular bob because as you guys can see, like this part is longer than this part okay so where do i start from let me give you guys some back history and some back information this whole coming to canada thing started when i was in about grade nine which is kind of gs3 you know gs3 is the equivalent of grade nine in nigeria so um i have an older sister and by the time i was in gs3 she was like finishing up high school so she was finishing up grade 12 which is ss3 and like she wanted to like come to Canada and all of that stuff but the plan for me was for me to go to the UK after school to study law with like a bunch of my friends right that was the plan but yeah that did not work out obviously and I don't regret that at all so yeah anyways my older sister was in SS3 which is the equivalent of grade 12 and she was coming to Canada and I don't know if they still do this but like back then like Canadian high schools actually came to Lagos, Nigeria to kind of recruit students and you know kind of sell their schools so that like you know they could get some prospective international students from Nigeria so it was like this Canadian students fair thing and this was in Ikoyi or VI and I remember I was in grade grade 9 and my dad's driver came to come and pick me up from school like my dad just tends to come pick us up from school I think it was me and my brother I don't know if my brother came, I don't really remember, but yeah. Long story short, we ended up going to the expo. It was my mom, my dad, my older sister, and myself. I'm not too sure if my brother was there, I don't really remember. But yeah, uh, my older sister was looking to come to CIC, which is in Hamilton, I believe. Yeah, it's in Hamilton in Canada, so she was looking to come to CIC. So we go for the expo and then I remember seeing like all these high schools, I saw CIC there, Great Lakes was there, Bronte College was there, like so many of them actually came. Um, but yeah, it was more for my older sister anyway. So long story short, she got admitted into CIC and then she moved to Canada as an international student, right? But I ended up cutting up this side of my hair as well. Right now I'm just going to take some water and spray this so that it lays back. So yeah, long story short, my sister ended up coming to University of Manitoba and CIC. So she was in Canada for like a year and a half or so. And then my mom met up with her cousin who was this like big shot immigration lawyer. Okay, so by the way, obviously I've cut this side up. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut off all this excess, you know, unnecessary hair right there. But like I was saying, my mom met up with her lawyer cousin and they were just talking like just in as cousins and they were catching up and my mom mentioned that my older sister is in manitoba in canada and all of that stuff and she was like honestly like why you guys spend international student fees like that's so expensive and right now like canada is actually looking for qualified candidates to actually come to their country as permanent residents so like that's the equivalent of a green card holder in america i believe 
my mom is like smart as hell my mom is a civil engineer like she's good before the math math like she is smart as fuck so yeah so because of that because of my mom and like her qualifications and everything she was able to like pretty much sponsor all of us like my dad and my siblings like all of us moved here to canada in December of 2012 now before that after we applied so we applied when I was in about SS1 and in SS2 like so the next year in when I was in SS2 we got um, approved and everything as permanent residents and we had to do our medicals and all of that stuff so like they tell you what hospital to go to to do your medicals you know for your application so we put in our medicals and then like yeah, three months later we got approved as canadian permanent residents and they gave us six months to move so i think we got approved june 2012 and we had until december 2012 to move to canada now this was like a whole big move because we had six months to literally like pick up our lives and come to this country and like start all over again that was pretty much how we ended up moving to Canada as permanent residents and you know there are different ways to do it you can come as I mean, my sister was an international student first then became a PR and now she's a citizen right so there are steps and levels to this process and um, obviously like I'm just telling you guys my experience I'm not telling you guys to do exactly what I did um but right now Canada like they are looking for people man but they're looking for qualified people and honestly like I hear so many like scary stories of how People are trying to take advantage of the system and i'm just like honestly like if you qualify you qualify especially like the way it is right now in canada like the population of older people who are entering into retirement is way more than the population of younger generation like people in my generation people like myself you know who work and do all of those things so they're even looking for like younger people now right so it's not that hard like just go through the right channels and then you will get your you will get your shit, you know but yeah, that's pretty much how we came to Canada. So December 2012, we were, we landed as landed immigrants, you know, this time my Nigerian passport and all of that stuff. And you know, you guys know the story, like I already said this before, when I came here, I was living. I was like, oh my God, my parents brought me to this country. They knew I was supposed to go. They knew I was supposed to go to England to study law. Like even the whole thing, right? My parents even <laughs> tricked me. But honestly, like your parents really, really know what's good for you. And I I don't regret that decision at all. Like I'm so glad, you know, they you know, they put their foot down and they were like, Tony, you're living in Canada whether or not you like it. And it has worked out so well for me. I thank God for that. Wow, I was about to burn myself. I thank God for that like every single day of my life, you know, like I'm just so grateful to be in, in this country. When I got here, I was in school. Another thing that I found so weird that was like busting my brain was like people in high school actually had jobs, and you know, that thing was like, what the hell? So everyone here, like when I got here, that was like a very, very big culture shock for me. Um, like people in high school had jobs, and like in Nigeria, like. Hey, sure, what job did you have in high school? Your job was to go to school, your parents give you pocket money, you know, you live your best life, you live your baby boy lifestyle, your baby girl lifestyle, you know. But people here actually had jobs. And it's not like their parents were poor or anything, right? It was just the culture, like learning how to be independent, you know. And that is amazing. So yeah, um, when I was in grade 12, I got a job with Vector Marketing, which is a whole nother story. That thing was not even a job, it was like network marketing and then I had to sell like high-end knives and cutlery to people that were in my network. So like, they didn't even have their own customers, I would have to make my own customers by, you know, maybe selling to like my mom's friends or something like that. It was just a whole new scam. I had to get my boyfriend at that time to literally buy the knives and the cutlery that I was selling so that I could get paid. But I didn't stay in that job for a very, very long time. Um, so yeah, I did my high school. A year and a half of high school because when I came to Canada um, I was too young to be put in grade 12 because I was in grade 12 in Nigeria before I came I was too young to be put in grade 12 so they put me in grade 11 and I could not start school so I got here in December I could not start school until February of the following year so like two months I was not in school I was just at home trying to get into the country and all of that stuff so yeah, I got here, went to school, I worked a few jobs, I got my driver's license, at, like my G1, 
at the age of 16 or 17. Um, yeah, then I started working. I worked for Vector Marketing, which was, uh, then I worked for Benefit Cosmetics and that job was amazing. I loved it. Like, I loved working for Benefit Cosmetics. So I worked for Benefit Cosmetics. I used to work in Sephora, Shoppers Drug Mart, like different locations and all of that stuff. So I had a car, so like this puts me to different locations. Um, and then I got into university and I still kept on working for Vector Marketing. I mean, I kept on working for Benefit Cosmetics for like a long, long time. But yeah, anyways, um, so when you come into Canada, you know, as a permanent resident or even like as an international student, you're allowed to work. That's like the whole point of me saying all these things. You're actually allowed to work. You know, they don't expect you to be dependent on your parents. So even international students here, I think allowed to work when they're in school for I think about 30 hours a week. Yeah. For that 30 or 15 hours a week, I'm not too sure that you would have to, you know, find that out by yourself. But yeah, as an international student here, you are even allowed to work. Um, they don't expect you to lean on your parents forever. So that's one thing I really, really like about Canada as well. And here, the minimum wage in Ontario is 15, I mean, either 15 or 14 dollars. Yeah, one of those. Okay, so to qualify for citizenship, you have to be in country three years at least like three years out of five years so that translates to like a thousand and something days in a five year period for a qualified for citizenship um and like they ask you a citizenship application form like to literally list everywhere you've lived everywhere you've worked so like that's why i also mentioned like the whole working thing and how that's like integrated into the canadian society and everything right so yeah you definitely definitely have to work um, so yeah, they ask you like where you've lived, where you work. They also ask you, they also like tell you to calculate like all the days you've been here. Like they have the form and everything. And then like, you do like the, you know, presence calculator stuff. And then after that, they also like ask you for, you know, the, your passport, like your Nigerian passport and everything. And then they see like when you stamped in and stamped out of the country. So that's they like calculate everything, you know. So yeah, um, all of us in my family, we, met all the requirements to even like apply for citizenship and also like when you have your permanent residency status you also have to maintain it as well so you just have to meet like certain requirements like you have to be in the country for xxx amount of time you know um i don't even think you can be on welfare and all of those things you know so like you don't want any of that that's why like it's important for you to work so after we met the five year period we now applied for citizenship and i think the application for citizenship alone is like 700 dollars per person so yeah we applied all of us applied for our citizenship and we got it this year yeah we got our citizenship this year just because you get approved for citizenship rather doesn't mean that you get like a passport to confirm your citizenship like you actually have to apply for your international passport I, the canadian passport is actually like one of the strongest passports in the world um you can travel to like 160 something countries like visa free like it's it's amazing um yeah so pretty much that was how like i became a canadian citizen if you guys have any other questions make sure you leave it right down below i also have like a few links right down below as well where you can you know access everything you need to know like more information about like immigrating here and like schooling here and working here and all of that stuff like honestly like just go to canada.ca and like you get all the information you need you know pretty much and also just to let you guys know that like one of the most expensive provinces to live is in ontario which is like where i am and in the province one of the most expensive cities to live is in toronto because everybody knows like toronto is popping and stuff right like yeah the whole process took me about five or six years and yeah that is pretty much it i just felt like sharing my own little experience my own little journey um honestly like I just love this country so much. I just felt like it was something nobody ever really, really talked about, and it's something I get asked a lot. The other day, somebody asked me if they can move in with me. Like, I'm like, what? I love you guys, but you cannot be asking strangers if they can move in with you and all of that stuff, you know? So, we are pretty much done with like the cutting. What I'm going to do now is take my spray bottle and just spray. You know top part of this wig so that everything lays down nice and flat but like there's so much hair in front i don't know why there's so much hair right there which is a good thing i guess and i'm just going to you know lay that down flat just like that 
So right now I am going to take my Smashbox bronzer in the shade Deep Matte and you know a tiny brush right here and just apply this onto my part because my part is looking kind of blue, you know. Okay, so I just did like a little bit of baby hairs right here and for that I used my got to be hair gel I used the yellow one. I'm starting to like this a little bit more than the other black one I'm going to take my super hold spritz and just you know spray this on top of my Wig, you know for all those flyaways that want to run away They got nowhere to run to now yeah, and just lay down my wig like that. So that is pretty much it for this hair video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like I said earlier on, my hair is from Kilai Hair and I used their um, blonde 613 wig to achieve this whole color. I did the water coloring process and the hair color came out amazing. My wig was made by Just Tunji on Instagram and Everything you need to know is going to be right down below in the description bar and if you have any other questions regarding my hair or regarding my cleaving, working and schooling in Canada, make sure you guys leave them right down below. I'll do my possible best to answer all of those questions but just make sure you guys don't take like you know my word and run with it make sure you do your own research go to the canadian website i'm going to leave everything you need to know like right down below like i said and until next time guys peace and love